Hello and welcome to the next episode of That Engineering Chat, EDS Takeover. We are delighted to have been asked to come along again to the Engineering Design Show um, at the Coventry Building Society Exhibition and literally talk to some amazing exhibitors. Thank you to Earth Electronic for making this happen and, and getting us um, able to do this series and, and talk to all these amazing people. And it's lovely. I'm going to get to talk to to a, a very lovely lady here. It's Katie from CBE Plus. Yep. I've got that right? Yeah, that's right. I got that right. <laughs> wow, okay, I got that right. So Katie, hello. Hello. We've literally just sort of met, haven't we? We've just like, we've been thrown, you've been thrown in. Thrown in at the deep end. Thrown in at yeah. the deep end. You look, <laughs> you look like you can t- you can manage being thrown in at the deep end. So your role at C- t- tell us what CB- CBE Plus is for a start, because I can't say it. CBE Plus. CBE so, yeah. Plus. So CBE Plus is a manufacturing company, but yeah. it's a manufacturing company with a difference. Yeah. And it stands CBE Plus actually stands for Capabilities Beyond Engineering. I love that. So we do a lot of different engineering services, precision engineering, so CNC milling, CNC turning, all the way through to surface treatment and testing. Yeah. But the difference is with us um, is that it's all under one roof so it's like a one-stop shop shortening yeah. people's supply chains uh, meaning that they can get the work done quicker Brilliant. cheaper but with obviously the high quality still in place yeah. um aerospace accredited so accredited to high wow. standards um and so yeah that's what we do and how long have you been going how long has the company been going itself do you know so it's actually a merge of four separate Is companies it? okay um our directors murray and chris saw the potential um, basically, it started. Um, a customer of one of the companies was yeah. buying the parts, yeah. um, shipping them to a customer down south, yeah. where based in Chesterfield. Yeah. Um, and then a company across the road were, was actually so one company was uh, machining them, one company were planting them, but in between they were sending them back down south and up again, spending money and time mm. to check them in between. Um, so the idea of it come from that actually a lot of people buy both these services mm. um, and we could cut out all that cost from um, so it's been a long journey if yeah. I think it's been over a four year journey um, wow. it's come from four separate factories all now under one roof lots of investment um, so earlier this year as last factory got moved into our uh, enterprise drive site um, so now uh, it's, it's been an experience yeah, it's been, bet, a, it's been a real journey but now we're all under one roof um, and and obviously the vision is a reality yeah absolutely and yet like you say so four years you've had a couple of years of turbulence shall yeah, we say yes and it's uh, not always been easy no but I mean you've <laughs> like you've gone through the what we'd like to think the worst maybe but you know it's, oh, it's, oh, it's oh, still a roller coaster, yeah. well, there's, there's always opportunities I always say to people you know when people are quiet like, it's, the, it's, it's the best time to make some noise that's personally the way I see it anyway so if you've got yeah. something to shout about which it sounds like you have yeah we've got lots to shout about as well so even though we're now all under one factory under one roof uh, the investment hasn't stopped there yeah. so we're actually going to be the first um electrolyst nickel plater in the uk to have an automated plating line which wow. is going to be commissioned early next year brilliant a two million pound investment um so a lot of money a lot <laughs> uh, of money but um so that's going to be uh, where people can come to get small parts plated in high volumes quickly and obviously the robotic side of it the automated side of it takes out human the human error yeah uh, so it's it's going to be the first one in uk so we're very very innovative in that way so how did you get into the you're very you're you're a young lady yes i can say <laughs> that you're a young lady um younger than me but how did you get into this industry because it's love it's lovely to speak to men and women i am not being remotely you know partial to either <laughs> side but it is predominantly there's there's there can be a slightly more men in this industry there, we're seeing more women coming through um but obviously it's nice to sit on the sofas and chat to you and yeah, yeah how, how did you come to work with these guys so uh, i started as an uh, apprentice so did I, did, I did a levels um this comes on to a really relevant topic for the Brilliant. business as well so i did my a levels and after that i was ready to do something in real life um so i started my apprenticeship with a different business but halfway through I realised I loved marketing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll yeah, yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so I um, realised I loved marketing um, and met Marie, um, yeah. the CEO of our business. Yeah. And 
she just gave me offered me the job I wanted to do and also to do the qualifications I wanted to do. She's a real believer in people. Yeah. Um, and I, I just love the environment of engineering, finding out what projects are on, listening to engineers talk about what they're doing. Um, Amazing. Because to me, it blows my mind every day. Every every job that we do at CB Plus is different because we we don't. A lot of manufacturers might produce stuff in high quantities, but we actually work to different designs. So we work, we, we're a partnership, we're a collaboration. We work with yeah. people to achieve what they want. We don't offer an off-the-shelf product. Yeah. But um, going back to apprenticeship, so yeah, um, they took me on and they nurtured me. And I'll, I've, that's, that's where I'm where today. But um, they're a real believer in apprenticeships. Um, we do a lot of STEM work. I'm not sure if you're yes, familiar with STEM. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we partner with a company called the Workwise Foundation yeah. too. So we do all sorts throughout the year with children trying to nurture them into engineering roles. Brilliant. And offering apprenticeships to them. Yeah, because this is something that came up a lot when we actually did Subcom. We did Subcom show recently. Um, and that, that was the thing that there was just, you know, there's not enough people coming into the industry and into the sector and yeah. how to get them involved. So it is really, really... I mean, Rachel, who's one of our youngest member of our teams, she absolutely loves these shows. She's like... I mean, I love them, obviously, but I've been coming for about 20-odd years, you know. So, But she absolutely loves it. And, to, and it is just every time you see what people are doing, different projects and how... You know, technology is working yeah. for people. It's it's unbelievable. Mm. So it is. Exci- it's lovely to see you so excited yeah. and passionate about something, and good for good for your team to to take someone on and and like you say, nurture you because you're very knowledgeable about the business. You know, yeah. what better person to have marketing it than someone that eats, sleeps, and breathes it? That's yeah. that's what you want, isn't it? Well, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You know, no, but it's true. I think it's good, isn't it? So, I mean, the EDS show, have you done the EDS show before? No, it's our first time here this it's year. first time. Um, and I can honestly say we've had person after person at our stand. It's going really good. well so far. They're um, going to keep coming. They're going to yeah. keep coming. We That's hope so. Well. <laughs> yeah. So what sort of people are you hoping to meet? What sort of people are you hoping to talk to? We supply into, so we supply into all sorts of industries, aerospace, oil and gas, marine. Um, we obviously offer everything from CNC machining to nickel plating. Nickel plating's really our biggest service. There's yeah. not many people in UK who do it, and we've got um, the biggest tanks wow. um, in Europe, I think, so yeah. the biggest capacity. So um, anyone who's looking for for Every everything's manufactured in my in my eyes. Everything's manufactured. Yeah. We can do such a broad range of manufacturing. Come and talk to us and see if we can help you. Yeah, brilliant. And I, and I think that's that's the thing, isn't it? It's just pick up pick up the phone, have a conversation, or reach out to you. Yeah. And then you know people people might not know what they want until they talk to you. No, that's what yeah. I find. People yeah. talk to me, and it's like, well, what do you do? And well, I'm like, well, what do you need? Or you might not even know what you need. Well, for us, from a marketing perspective, people know our legacy brands, so they don't actually realise that we offer all these things from one brand now. Yeah. Um, so it, that's one challenge: is getting people to know who we are, yeah. that we're still here, and that yeah. we're doing exactly what we did before, but more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. So. so what? So I mean, uh, what are you actually? Sh- what, what, who, what are you showing at the show? on your stand if people want to come over and talk I mean people that are listening to this is going to come out afterwards so what would be the best way for them to get in touch with you would you say it's the best best way is to get through the website or just pick up the phone and call, ring you call us come, we, we are a very open company open yeah. doors we have a lot of open days but if, if anyone wants to come and see what we do if you're interested in the services ring us up and come to a site brilliant we'll, we'll, we'll put you some lunch on we'll show you around we'll, we'll you make put you some well, lunch on we'll make you very welcome I'm is what coming I'm going to <laughs> <laughs> if you put lunch on, what sort of lunch do you put on? It depends what day at week oh. is. We have, fi- we have fish and chips Thursdays. Fish so. and chips yeah. Thursdays. Well, yeah. we can come to that because exactly. I mean, you know, you I do land look. on that day. You look it. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, you're 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 so bubbly, Katie. It's lovely. They've you know, it's great that you're you're getting to talk to people. Isn't it great that we can do? I mean, look how busy this exhibition is already. It's you know, it's, it's literally. I don't even know what time it is, but I know it's still the morning and it is being busy since the doors opened. That yeah. is really unique. I've been to shows where it's been a bit like a ghost town and I've never had that experience with EDS, but I'm really impressed at the amount of people that are walking around already, aren't you? I'm impressed and the the, peop- the companies are working and it, 
it's really relevant for us this show too. Um, the, it's very, it's a broad um, like market sector. Yeah. It's very broad. So yes. something for everyone. Here. There is something for everyone. So will you be walking around a bit and having a look and chat to people as well, or will you be maybe? Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. uh, we'll we'll be seeing what other people are doing, how how they market their stuff, and if if actually there's any opportunities out there. Yeah. To work with other exhibitors as well as visitors. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. No, it's been great to talk to you. So, um, what would you say if there was if there was one thing that really sets you apart from other companies? I mean, you know, I love the name. I love the name of the company. Uh-huh. It's great. I mean, Thank it's you. a bit of a mouthful for me. But but what would you say really sets you apart from? I mean, it's quite unique what you do. But what would be your main sort of mantra if you had one? Mm-hmm. Out, we've got we've got a couple of couple of obviously capabilities beyond engineering, but our other tagline, so to speak, is together we do more. It's we care about people. I love that. We care about the. We, we've got a combined heat and power system coming in to place too. We care about the environment. We care about as people. We care about as customers. It's it's really the service you get from the team. It, it's not just the product that you want to buy. It's it's that we'll hold your hand the, all the way through, and we're not looking for people that are just coming to buy a service we want to partner with them we want to improve their processes we want to help them do more together <laughs> I love that because I'm all about that because that was that was why that engineering chat even came about was because we wanted to connect people certainly through the pandemic at a time when people couldn't mm. and now we're creating you know opportunities where people can talk about what they're doing and it's accessible anywhere and through di- many different platforms so yeah. but it is working together yeah. and I really like the fact that people are embracing that a bit more there was you know many years ago before your time probably it was a bit more I mean it's still healthy healthy competition is fine but we need to collaborate, you know. We yeah. we need to collaborate more than ever now and work together. We work with people across like in everything we do. We not everyone's a specialist in everything. Mm. We work together with every, with people um, that do that specialise in different things too to make our processes better. We're part of a lot of networks. We're yeah. always looking for places to find out better ways, best better be, better best practice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to be able to improve because if if at the end of the day if you can't stay still, you've got to keep moving forward, and that's why. After we've actually got everything under one roof, we're continuing to invest to be uh, more in- innovative and yeah. sustainable too. That's amazing because, I mean, as as you say, I, li- I literally just 10 minutes ago said to someone exactly what you just said about there's no point standing still, you've got to move forwards because obviously our stand is, is, is quite sort of unique, I would say, for the, for the engineering sector, but also it's because the world is changing and it's changing at a fast pace and you need to move with it, you really do, yep. otherwise you're going to get left behind. Yeah, definitely. And, and it sounds... And you, You've got to do it together. There's no. Yes. You're not going to win the battle if you're one standing on yourself. Absolutely not. I'd, I'd love. Well, I think. I think. You, you seem great. Your company seem great. I'm looking forward to find out more about what you do. I'll certainly come and have a chat with you properly. And um, make sure you get your name on that rosy tree. We're already you on could, the tree. Are you already on yeah. the tree? You're already on yeah. it. Wow, okay. Because you could win your own personal podcast with uh, that engineering chat. You get to talk to me for about an hour then. I recommend you could do that, Katie. Definitely. <laughs> so if people want to find you and the company, what's the best way? Come on, plug plug yourselves, please, well, to your audience. If you're here today, um, come to Stan C7. Yeah. We'll happily speak to you, find out about what you guys do, find out about what we can do for you. Yeah. Um, or if... Or if um, they're going to be any- seeing this after the show, so you want to get them website uh, or... Oh, website... For- LinkedIn. Actually, LinkedIn, yeah. We're actually launching a new website, so Ooh. stay tuned. Um, as website at the moment is not going to be the same one in a couple of months. Okay. So, but you can definitely find us contact details there. Um, and if find us on LinkedIn, we're very active on LinkedIn. We'll be posting a lot this weekend. Katie um, Andrews on LinkedIn. We can yeah. find her through my Kay. LinkedIn or through... Is that it? Is yeah, that RCB it? Plus. It's Charlie yeah. Brown at Echo Plus. Find us. I love Charlie Brother at Echo Plus. I love that. See, I can remember that. Yeah, I can exactly. remember that. Well, it's been fab to talk to you. It really has. Is there anything else we've missed that you'd like to get across to this fabulous audience that's going to be listening for all these EDS EDS people that you can be reaching out through this platform? No, I think that's everything. It's been it's been lovely to talk to you. It's been lovely to talk to you. <laughs> thank you for coming on, Katie, and thanks for coming on the that engineering chat. And we'll um, I hopefully we'll get to talk to you soon. Yeah, you know, hopefully we'll win the rosy tree. The rosy <laughs> tree is calling. That's what I'm saying. So, all right. Well, look, have an amazing show, and thanks again. Thanks. Thank you.